Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make reflective glowing kind of text uh, just like the one I'm showing you guys right now over the screen. This is what we're going to work on and this is the effect and hope you guys enjoy this video and hope you guys learn something new. Now in this video we are going to be building on what I taught you guys in the last video in our After Effects tutorials and how to actually make 3D text in a 2D film video kind of thing. Uh, so go check that out. It's going to be linked up in the top right corner in the eye or check it out in the description. Let's go build on that effect and that basic effect. I'm not going to be teaching you guys again in this episode, so go check it out in that episode. First things first here, I am going to be adding the text. So the text that we are going to be doing dealing with today is going to be sample. Just something really easy just to show you guys how this effect actually works. And I'm going to resize it to the size that I actually want it to be. So it is going to be just, just uh, before the cup actually starts. And what you want to do is you want to play with the, uh, uh, the setting of the mode of the layer itself. And I'm pretty sure I go over uh, overlay. And I just changed the color to make it kind of look like it has that tint of color, just like in that um, music lyric video from Zed and the middle, uh, that's what it's called, uh, link down below in the description. Uh, but yeah, what you want to do is you want to make your text kind of like that really shiny color. So you want to duplicate that layer. I just copy and pasted the text sample layer three times in total. So I have three text layers and I'm going to change all those colors to something that is very uh, kind of soft on the color, but also white and some spots. So it just depends on how it reflects on the video below these layers. So first here, I'm just duplicating the three sample text layers. I just copy and paste them. And then I'm trying to find an angle of reflection that I'm going to be using for my reflecting text. I'm just going over different kind of places that I can place it and angles. So let's just cut to the final angle of reflection that I made. So here you go. I'm finding that place where I want to have my text reflect. And what I'm also going to be doing right here is just making a little ellipse um, just getting that nice kind of glowing effect how they have it in the text. Uh, they have it more like nicely made and everything, but this is just the basics of actually how to get this effect. Uh, you're going to want to make specific shapes to align your text correctly and make it look better. Uh, maybe in larger text just a little bit, may add a little more blur. But this is just what I think looks better and I just accidentally just, you know, played around with pre-comp settings. But that's fine. You don't need to do all that. This is the kind of the final product you can play around with how the opacity is and I'll show you um, this is how it was before and then now this is the final result but before I show you guys the final result thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a great rest of your day and see you guys in another video tutorial